How's it boys and girls? And yes, I have some recent pickups. Now I know it's been quite a while since I actually showed any of my gold and silver pickups. Um, I've sort of been adding them into my live stream, um, so I haven't really been making videos of them. But I thought, well, I'm sitting at home here going out of my mind, recovering from this neck surgery. Why not make a video of some of my more recent ones? Right, so I won't, uh, I'll, that was part of it. That's been part of my pickups, the Egyptian six ounce lot. Um, but I have done a video on that, so I won't go into that too much. But these are my more recent ones. Um, so we'll start with going quite a wee way back. Picked up this beautiful Boba Fett. Pretty cool. Now I got this at a ridiculous, ridiculous price. Um, I think I paid, I paid $32 for this coin, but that's why, um, it's actually scuffed a little bit on the back, well it's actually scuffed quite a bit, <laughs> um, so it's obviously been cleaned or something's been done to it, um, it's got quite a funky looking back to it, but hey, at 32 bucks for that coin when spots only 28 bucks it's not too bad considering they're selling on trade me at the moment for about 47 to 50 dollars so 32 bucks was a absolute steal and hey you only look at this side anyway you don't look at the ob obvious much do you <laughs> so yeah so that was pretty cool so that was a pretty cool buy um and then i picked up just the basic good old don't tread on me Another silver shield one for my silver shield tube. So, yeah, so there's another good deal. Got this at quite a good good price. Um, I think I paid 35 for that one. I generally try and pick up my rounds as cheap as I possibly can. Um, spot here in, in New Zealand at the moment is about 28 bucks, and I try not to go over sort of 35, 36 bucks. This is another just generic one. Republic Metals Corporation. Picked this up super cheap. Got that for about $35.50, I think. That's my recent, most recent pickup in the silver. A while back, um, I a guy, local guy, he bought himself two or three tubes of uh silver ferns, and he offered me them at $35 a, bo a pop. Um, and then he was selling to everyone else at about 40 bucks a pop. Yeah, he got cleaned out pretty quick. <laughs> they all got uh, all got snapped up real quick. So I was able to get five at 35 bucks. I was pretty happy with that. So that's going nicely on my tube. I think I've got about 13 or 14 now uh, for that in that tube now. So it's getting pretty good. So I got five of those. So it was a pretty cool wee pickup. Um, in fact, that was I had that on one of my recent vlogs. Um, put this wee one out of the way. Recently, I also did a trade with Value Hunter. He sent me his new sticker. That's pretty cool. I've actually got his old stickers up on my board. There you go, guys. Old one. And new one. Ha, ha, ha. And I'll stick this one here up beside them. So that'll be pretty cool. And he sent me this mint, awesome toned Morgan dollar. One silver dollar. 1921. And um, we did a trade. And I have traded my 1940 centenary half crown. New Zealand half crown. That I dug up metal detecting not too long ago. He was pretty keen on that. And I've got a couple of them. So I did a trade. So that is on its way to you, Value Hunter. Um, yeah, I'm hoping you'll see that fairly soon. So yeah, let me know when you do. That would be awesome. And my latest, latest pickup, which I got in the mail yesterday. Woohoo! There's a bit of gold. Nice little one-tenth ounce maple. Now it's 1986, so she's a little vintage one. 
and it has had a bit of wear. It's got a bit of bit of scuffing on there, a few bag marks, but I think that's what it just gives it character. And um, I also not don't feel so bad about playing with it. <laughs> Gold, man. Gold coins. you got to play with them. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a beautiful little maple. 1986. So, quite stoked with that. And I got that at a very good price, too. So, um, yeah. It did have a bend in it. It had quite a, quite a wobbly little S bend in it. Um, but I have since, um, yeah, straightened that out. She's as flat as a pancake now and looking beautiful. So, very stoked. Very, very happy with that. So, yeah. So, there goes my pickups for the for the last wee while. Um, I haven't really been buying a huge amount of silver at the moment. Um, I'm at odds at the moment as to keep going with my silver um, or keep going and pushing hard on the gold. Um, silver is just going really weird at the moment it should be jumping in price quite substantially with gold because of the crisis that's going on but it's not it's not really doing much at all gold however is still jumping up so i am contemplating liquidating some of my silver um i possibly might even liquidate 100 ounces and turn it all into gold um just basically sell 100 ounces at the best price I can possibly get and buy myself some more fractional gold. So yeah, so we'll see what happens. I'm not completely 100% sure on if that's what I'll do, but yeah, let me know in the comments what, what you think. Um, is silver still a good option or yeah, is gold gold better? Um, I see a lot of guys at the moment are um, pushing pushing the gold and really going a bit more hard out with that and not so much the silver anymore and saying that silver's not, not a good bet anymore and not a good investment. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I do like my silver. I like the look of it. But ultimately, I am in it for the investment. So if I need to go for gold, we'll go for gold. But anyway, guys, thanks for popping along and seeing my little goodies. And remember, um, yeah, Anybody wants to fire me through some stickers, um, I'm looking at getting a post office box soon. Um, so keep an eye out on the about page in my profile on, on the um, on the channel page. And um, yeah, I'm open to swaps, love to do some swaps. And um, yeah, get some more stickers on that sticker wall. Alrighty guys, thanks for coming. And until next time, happy hunting. <laughs>